guys. Cavalry greetings. Cavalry greetings to you, brethren. Yeah. We hope this letter meets you in peace. Heaven is our goal. Give me a comfortable. Okay, comfortable. Oh, Valerie, thank you. Hi guys, welcome again to our YouTube channel because it's just not me today. Me at the sister and me more than we are together. Dearly beloved, hola Joan, we by we. So um, I'm just going to like ask her to introduce herself. So I brought her for one reason. I will share with you soon. But if you haven't subscribed to this channel, you know now all wrong because this is not the first video you're really? enjoying. Mm -hmm. Really? So please subscribe and like this video and share with your friends. So hi, Mora Molu. Hi. Hi. Oh my God, we are too playful. Okay, please introduce yourself. Hi, to my name is Mora Molu Atike Atike Abolaji. Abolaji. Keep telling me, telling. Keep going. Good. You have to bring me for a shorter song. I know, right? My name is Mora Molu Atike Atike Abolaji. I'm a Christian. Content creator emphasis on Christian. On Christian, yeah. I'm a pastor's wife. Mm. Mm. Wow, wow. I'm a pastor. Yeah, we pastor. Mommy we pastor. Mommy. Mom. <laughs> I don't even know how my book will. I'm a voiceover artist. Um, okay. I'm a Everything a content yeah, creator does. She's, that she's a idea. brilliant content. I'm going to link her Instagram channel right now so that you can check some of her content. She's really good, right? So I invited Moro more what get scared over to know today so that we can talk about i'm sure you must have seen it from the thumbnail culture shock in marriage oh what i ordered you know versus what i got managing expectations because it's one thing for you to marry someone thinking that they are going to bring you breakfast in bed you know every day and then you now get married now you realize that the guy has a job and they can't be <laughs> cooking pancakes and you know boiled egg for you in the that's morning that's to make pancakes True. My husband can cook in Dunis, so I think that's and he can make stew too. <laughs> Dave, sorry. Yeah. So we just really want to say, okay, what are like the right expectations to have and it's okay to expect, do you understand? Like fidelity in marriage, provision and all of that. And then what's like over the top? What's asking too much, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why I brought Mora over. So I'm just going to be asking her some questions about like she got married i think about two months ago three months ago three months ago so just sharing that oh is it the way they do it in movie or that when the woman wake up the man bring her rice in the bed on the bed is it like that like at the expectation so that you can you know tailor your expectations and you will know that you're not like asking too much or too little and when right? all of these are not happening in marriage for you especially how you see them in movies so it doesn't mm -hmm. make you feel like your marriage is not working or you make the wrong decision very important theory that's why i brought up with wisdom okay i think you guys have seen this side of me that you guys have never seen before it's always <laughs> very serious conversation so moral um can you tell us a bit about this like culture show can you start i know you mentioned so called, uh, yes to so say. number one is let's start with the very very important one that a lot of people don't like to talk about i'll talk about sex okay people think that when they get married they're going to be having sex every day uh Breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> sex is very good. The wise man once says that a happy home is when the bed is still shaking. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Ah, the <laughs> 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 so oh very, God. very good to keep the bed shaking. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you that the bed will not shake every day. Mm -hmm. It's not shaking in the morning, mm -hmm. no in the afternoon, yeah. no in the night. Yeah. It's good that the bed is shaking, but don't think that the bed will shake every day. Mm. So you don't think that your husband will just wake up and just say, like, "Wow, you look gorgeous." And then you will now shake body. You not like this. <laughs> number one, your mouth is up. Please go and wash your mouth first. Yeah. Face, face, you know in Hollywood movies, don't come and jump on embarrassing kids. In real life, man, she'll be a man brush first. But you should go and man brush. Maybe man prefer to man brush first. Oh my, is any of these things just you know? You don't come and catch you. But the thing is, it's not every time. Okay. So it's not every morning that you know you will 
your husband will see you and you now look beautiful mm-hmm. because sometimes you also look dummy you know, and everything. Oh is, but the thing is, you know the beautiful thing is love covers all oh, things. things. Yeah. So in the afternoon, you don't think that your husband will come back from work, maybe when you work at home or mm-hmm. something, yeah. and you now come back from work and you're just like, oh my god, they will not clear the table. Yes. Yes. That the wall. <laughs> it will push down your chest. Uh, tear your... It will tear. It will move. It will move TV. It will move all the things. It will clear the table. Pour the laptops and everything. Put you on the table. My dear, gadgets okay. are very very important to me. Yeah. My man wants to touch you. We carry his laptop. Like this. <laughs> Watching this video, you will not come back from work one day and see your wife wearing red and black mm-hmm. with skin in her hand. My dear, she's coming from the kitchen, she's sweating. <laughs> <laughs> she's <laughs> sweating. She's like, Hello, hey, 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 come back. Don't think that you just come back and your wife will be like, Hi, darling. Hi, darling. Welcome. <laughs> At night, don't, <laughs> don't think that your wife is going to go and maybe after showering, she'll not go mm-hmm. and wear one night. See, my mm-hmm. dear. It might be your boxers that she's going to wear. Oh my god, she's on her period. As long as she's not, as she's not wearing a deal or papa to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> or grandma and sister. So don't <laughs> expect that you know she's going to be like lying all, all the time. time. You get. You're not saying like it shouldn't happen at all. Exactly. Because Mama Tony Lopez Solutions talked about like keeping the bed like fiery. We're just saying like balancing expectations. Balancing like, some days, oh my bad, you mama. I just sleep. <laughs> but I'm it's know, okay. Right. I know, right? So yeah. don't think that uh, she's not looking sexy every mm-hmm. day. She's not doing this and everything. And you two guys, it's not every day that you're always looking sexy to someone. Mm-hmm. So, so what so is it? So. What are we saying here? Mm-hmm. But it's not every day that people have sex in marriage. That's yeah. me, oh, now I all know. And I can say for like 99.9% mm-hmm. out there that it's not every day that they have sex. But what keeps the relationship and marriage sweet is the friendship that you guys have. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. it will get to a time that you can no longer have sex. So what yeah. we what we now have Kilowak, to change the marriage that, be nice. yeah. So that's yeah, why you're saying the marriage is yeah. already over. So yeah. it's friendship. So that time that you're not having sex, what mm-hmm. do you guys do? Yeah. With gist. Mm-hmm. I want to say gist. I don't want to say gossip. Well, everybody knows that married people talk about other what? people. Gossip a lot. <laughs> you will come to their house by the time you are closing the door like this. You can be sure that. So married people just a lot. Just they no just a lot. They, yeah, they, just, they have conversations. They have, they have, con- they have, they have conversations them. about other people. <laughs> so when the bed is not shaking, what do they do on the bed? They talk. They, they, they talk walk. about important things. Yeah. They walk too. Mm-hmm. So sex is not every day. Bag, 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 bag. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, that day that is going to do bag, 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 ah. ah. So you've talked about sex more about like managing expectations yes. about, and about knowing that you can't have sex every day because I mean yeah. what if your partner travels what if you I travel think. for work right so what what other thing do you think like people need to manage expectations about food I was okay. going to say food too. okay no my one thing is what you like to eat your husband might not have dislike test mm-hmm. interesting is mm-hmm. my husband does not eat onions mm-hmm. i love onions in fact i can the only thing i would rather not have onions is in maybe water mm-hmm. but rice noodles and and beans <laughs> sharp <laughs> fries <laughs> you get i can have yes. onions with anything but mm-hmm. my husband does not want to see onions, onions in his mm-hmm. food mm-hmm. so you are not going to look like at all. I, I will not going to be doing this. Mm. Will I be cooking? Initially, I tried to do that thing that I will cook my own stew separate mm-hmm. and I will cook his own stew separate. Mm-hmm. My dear, it got to the time that, you know, let's just stick with it. And they used to say something in Yoruba um, language that yeah. is the Bali Obadje. Yeah, well, yeah. So for the peace to reign in your house, there are some things that you have to just let and it's work. vice versa guys no Actually, like, yes, like yes, oh my yes. husband is in the yes, is vice there are things that even you you don't like of course yeah that you would not there are sometimes that i have much. noodles too mm-hmm. and i put onions inside very well mm-hmm. i break egg inside my noodles my husband doesn't even want to see you mm-hmm. breaking like that. Mm. Mm. it's okay sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> i love custard my husband cannot you just look at custard like mm. or mm-hmm. oats like mm. Like just does not even eating you get so he yeah. does not like any of all those mm-hmm. things. So the mm-hmm. thing in in a marriage, you have to learn how to balance things. So for yeah. the sake of peace, mm-hmm. the thing is you 
you will not always be right. Yeah. And there are some times that you will be right. Mm. So the days that you are right, fine. Yeah. The days that you are not right, mm-hmm. fine. But the major goal is do yeah. you want peace? Indeed. So why you are trying to say I know my rights? It's I not know really what I'm about saying. fighting. It's very, for, yeah. yeah. There are some times that you just have to you know put your pride and your rights yeah. aside and just okay. let peace reign. Okay. So food was another thing for us. Okay. My, I used to think that, ah, you know, as a wife, I'm going to make breakfast, I'm going to make lunch, oh, well, I'm, I'm, going to make, I'm going to make supper, I can imagine <laughs> supper, I can imagine dinner, hey. that, you know, I'm going to do this, I'm going to have watermelon and apples in a pain. Where I be up with said the wagyu mission war. What did she want to say that I want to I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so I try my best to make the food very, very, you know. Sweet yeah. and you know the packaging. Of course, yeah. you are serving a king, yeah. so you don't serve it mm. casually. Mm. So you have to mm. serve it very mm. well, you mm. know, with honor. Yeah. So that when the man of God is blessing you, hey. you know, it, I'm a one no in both, you know, in both blessings. <laughs> so food, food was another thing. Okay. I tell you that sometimes we don't. I don't cook breakfast. Sometimes I don't cook breakfast. <laughs> and there are some times that we don't cook lunch. And there are some times that we don't cook dinner. dinner. But we yeah. try our best to eat well and eat yeah. healthy. But so don't, when you feel, when you see that your wife is not preparing breakfast, lunch, di- supper, dinner, Passover, you are not like, ah, what happened now? I thought, <laughs> I thought that women used to cook and yeah. everything. Yeah. And, uh, no, so even some, you, you can cook, you can get in the kitchen and cook. And there are some times that you are going to order for food. Please, ah, yeah. for the sake of God. The kitchen is very, very old. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a very, very wonderful place to yeah. be. So when it... When next or whenever somebody cook for you, mm-hmm. please say thank you. I appreciate whether the food is salty or not, my mm-hmm. dear. For them to stand in the kitchen for two hours plus is mm-hmm. a lot of time. Mm-hmm. For you to eat it for ten minutes mm-hmm. and now complain for eight minutes, mm-hmm. nah. Mm-hmm. Whenever somebody makes a meal for you, yeah. please say thank you. I appreciate what you just said now about complaining just reminded me about when I do this last sense. So when I was in the <laughs> yeah, there was this guy that I met, Mushomoya of any con. So I now met him there, he collected my number as per brightness. So we now started talking, he was like 30 plus. So she had, we were talking for two weeks, Tonku was already mentioning marriage. She made your red flag, I was in 400 level, I had the exams. And I said, I wanted to come and visit me in school. I was like, like I had the exams the next day, people were reading, he said no, that he wanted to come. She said, no problem, he now came. I said, what do you want to eat? As per being polite and the way they raised her, he said, well, he wanted to eat um, Amala and Egusi. I was in school, I was in school hostel, university hostel. Mumu me, I went to college. Mulo ya, most of the legusi, mumu me blend the legusi to the most I didn't see. Mualo ya, because I didn't even have meat, and I went to borrow meat from my friend. Mumu she said, "Tommy, eh, on kuba de la tepo, one kese le se, one wonu ya rami." My mate, like it was so embarrassing because my classmates, my classmates, everyone was studying, ate their mala. Do you know what he told me? He said the legusi tasted stale. The next time, he no fresh legusi that he see. I never saw him again after that day. Oh, I was mm. going to ask. No, that. I never, I never. Oh, so, sorry, sorry to cut you short. I just wanted to mention <laughs> that. Like, if you are dating someone and they're already complaining about food, someone cooking for you, they're not married to you, they're doing you a favor. And that's yes. the truth. So, if you are dating someone and they are complaining all the time, that might just be a red flag. Sorry, Mara. Please just continue. So, so, we talked about food. Yes, we yeah. talked about sex. sex. And I think um, routine, daily yeah. routine. Okay. So, for me, I am not a morning person. Mm. I don't know. I just feel that. Money has to be very, very solid. How do you wake up, bagger? And the next thing you're ready, up and How do you know up and up? Up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're ready, up and going and everything. And all. my husband can wake up 5 a.m., he's ready for the day. Oh, I'm like, 5 a.m., I am standing <laughs> up to pee and going back to bed. Yeah. Yeah. You get, mm-hmm. but it has affected us in both ways. Yeah. For me, there are some days that I see that he's up. Mm-hmm. And it has encouraged me to, you know, stand up immediately yeah. and make my videos, mm-hmm. clean the house. There are some days too that I stand up and leave him on bed because I have to cook, I have to clean the house and everything, but not all the time. So don't get disappointed when you see that your wife is still sleeping by 8 a.m. Mm-hmm. And not, especially when she's working from home. If she's yeah. going to office, that is a different thing entirely. Yeah. So when you see that your wife is still sleeping Saturday mm-hmm. morning, 9 a.m., mm-hmm. please let her breathe because... Mm-hmm. No man is safe, even if you are not stressed emotionally, yeah. you know, your hormones. The woman is going through. I saw one calendar stuff. There's no um, ovulation, pre ovulation, uh-huh. post ovulation, uh-huh. pre uh-huh. uh, menstrual, menstruation, menstruation, post menstruation. Uh-huh. Before your body, your body has like barely three to four days that to is rest, normally like that. that you uh-huh. get that is in this resting uh-huh. stage uh-huh. before you now start another phase again. Uh-huh. And all. So, 
my husband is a morning person i'm not a morning person yeah i like to like take my time and sleep and mm-hmm. everything which too much of it by the way can be called laziness so I you want don't you have to, to talk be in bed about the how that affects like you going to bed your whole thing we talked about about cuddling going to bed together you yeah. know you see it in movies i want you to talk oh about that oh my god you know that the way you used to see it in movies that um husband and wife will brush their mm-hmm. mouth and they will shower together yeah, like keys. that they will kiss Oh, they will not go to bed. The bed would have been laid already. Oh, there is no who laid no. the bed. The bed, the bed would have been laid already. Then they will now lay on the bed. Then they will now call you. Then the next morning, they will now wake up and say, Good morning, gorgeous. Good morning, my handsome. king. Good morning, handsome. Then they will not kiss. They did not used to do it like that. People not used to do like that in house. We left the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> we have our cuddling time, of course. Yeah. There are some times that you cuddle. But sometimes my baby like, Hey, I need my hands to myself. <laughs> so like my mother will tell me that the fact that I'm not cuddling you doesn't mean I don't love you. I mm. love you, but my dear, I need this <laughs> I need this yeah. to myself. So when you see movies that ah, you not say how oh, your husband does not cuddle you. Or even has work to do, so he doesn't come to the room at the same time. And you know time. the thing is, it's very, very funny. Some guys are very touchy. Mm. Like they want to hold you. The, so, something about me, I'm the touchy one. So mm-hmm. even if we are not cuddling, I want my color. leg, you get, I want my leg, <laughs> let my leg be on your body so that I know that you are here. Yeah. Or I feel that just, I'm you care, that, that, you just, that you are here with me and everything. <laughs> even if it's your back. So I try to like, have, sometimes say, you just see me like in the middle of the night, mm-hmm. I'm just holding like this mm-hmm. so that I know that, okay, you are here. Yeah. Or I just touch the back or uh-huh. I touch his head and everything yeah. so that I know that, okay, this person is here. Mm-hmm. But my husband has always been the one. Mama, so if you touch him, mm. you're like, hmm. <laughs> no, like, I'm, I'm telling you that you are like that Sometimes I just touch him, and it's like, I'm like, why are you giving me that reaction? Sometimes I say, you might be like, hey, and when I say, ha, ha, it's me now. And it doesn't mean that they don't love you. You get, of course, they love mm-hmm. you, but mm-hmm. they are not used to, you know, being so touchy, touchy, touchy. And it's always one person like that in the relationship. But if the two of you are touchy, touchy, Ah, cavalry good things. So I, oh. wish you, I wish you were. So we don't go to bed and all yeah. this. We jizz we, we sometimes. We jizz sometimes. We are in bed. We are seeing yeah. a movie. We are, yeah. you know, snacking or something. Yeah. We are talking about other things. Then mm-hmm. we not sleep. Mm-hmm. We call you to sleep. Yeah. But I don't think that day we have wake up. Now nah, maybe the way you slept mm-hmm. like this. Yeah. If maybe you do, <laughs> and do you do it? It's not under the bed or <laughs> something. Yeah. You get. So it's not always. Like, don't ever compare whatever you see in the movies to mm-hmm. your marriage. To real life, I beg yeah. in the name of God. Yeah. If you need something or if you desire something in your marriage, mm-hmm. please communicate, communicate with your partner. Yeah. Oh, I love to cuddle as much as you know, mm-hmm. you can try your best to touch me. Mm-hmm. But when you slip off yeah. and you turn to the other side, yeah. it is fine. Yeah. But don't not say, ah, he does not touch me. When they don't even know that you know you want to be touched, yeah. or so communicate. Yeah. If your wife wants a particular mm-hmm. thing, Please try your best. Yeah. You know, efforts can be so effort will definitely be appreciated. Mm-hmm. But not doing anything at all just make the other person feel unloved. Yeah. And this will always lead to your partner's love language. Mm. You get so you cannot keep buying gifts for somebody. You cannot keep buying that for somebody that somebody the time. Yeah. You're not saying, ah, did I not buy you phone? Mm-hmm. Did I not buy you iPad? Did I not so this, buy you a house? Video is not when that person that you get yeah. when that person just wants to hear you are beautiful, mm-hmm. I love you. What's uh, of you get what's yeah. of affirmation and all. No. So when you're not doing something mm-hmm. that you think you are loving and that yeah. way, and the person don't feel appreciated, feel you not know, be yeah. feeling like ah she but I'm doing this, I'm doing that. It's just like when you have you have a uh, you have a dog at home mm-hmm. and you are giving your dog uh, dog can even eat anything. Mm. Let's say <laughs> let's Cats say are picky or even a visitor that doesn't like a particular. You get so let's say yeah. a visitor comes to your house mm-hmm. and you know this visitor very well. This visitor does not like like sometimes I even used to refer things like this to my husband. I'm like you don't like onions. So mm-hmm. if I out of the abundance of my love for, for you, onions, if I serve yeah. you onions. I feel like oh my god, we love onions because, because I love, you love onions. onions. Yes. Not yes. because you love onions, mm. so you will not appreciate it because you don't love onions. Mm. But if I give you pounded jam, yeah. or coming with a good thing, and you know mm-hmm. the way I used to serve it for you now, you just smile and you know you eat it and you just love mm-hmm. it because you're like this is what 
you really this want. This is what I so that's why it feels like that he, that yeah, that's what it feels understand. like loving them the way they want to be loved, not the way you think they should they be should loved. be loved. Okay. Thank you very much for that. You know, as we were talking, I just saw the Lord lay it on my heart to talk a bit about comparison and how it kills like the joy like yeah. in marriages. Can you just touch on that? I know it wasn't part of what we planned to talk about. So let me let me share this story for you. Hmm. Two let, let me say five couples. Okay. Couples I mean. One couple, yeah. two couple, couples, yeah, couples, their own couples. Couples. <laughs> <laughs> couples, one, couples, <laughs> two, <laughs> so five couples. So five couples. They went to. They had a counseling such, uh, mm-hmm. session. session. So the counselor, uh, counselor said, um, take a plain sheet of paper mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and write all the sweet things about your wife. Yeah, all of them and your husband. Mm-hmm. So they wrote it. Is this? Is that? Mm-hmm. Is the best? Mm-hmm. Oh, I love my husband and everything. Meanwhile, these couples were going through. Um, um stages in their life that you know it looked like they, their marriage was shaking, shaking. and all mm-hmm. so they all went for this session together mm-hmm. so the counselor said read it out mm-hmm. so they read it out mm-hmm. my wife can cook mm-hmm. another um another right. person's husband yeah. said you see you mm-hmm. see your mate she mm-hmm. can cook mm-hmm. and the other person wrote my husband likes to have sex several times a day mm-hmm. that wife said you see mm-hmm. see your mate you can have sex mm-hmm. you cannot do sex mm-hmm. so they all so everybody wanted mm-hmm. the other person's mm-hmm. husband mm-hmm. oh my god so you are doing this and my, my husband, and is, my husband not is not doing this so yeah. this one say wow you are so lucky your husband mm-hmm. is doing this mm-hmm. for you mm-hmm. you say yes yeah, so you call your husband I'm like, Hi, i want your husband mm-hmm. i want your husband mm-hmm. so the counselor told them to turn the paper. the paper to the other side mm. and write all the bad, bad things, things that they don't like mm. about their husband mm. and they started writing mm. they started collecting extra sheets mm. <laughs> and they addressing but they yeah. wrote a lot and know yeah. so the counselor told them please read out these things mm-hmm. then the first person goes and say my husband snows now say eh i can't stand snoring hmm. That's the husband that likes to have sex. The husband that likes to have okay. sex <laughs> wants the one that cannot snow okay eh? so mm. How do, you, how do you expect someone that likes to have sex? What is snow? What is snow? <laughs> Another one wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Another one wrote. The one that likes to make food and mm-hmm. everything um, is a cheetah. Can you imagine? The one that likes to, you get, they were just, you know, mm-hmm. the good, the, the ones that seem perfect to yeah, another so person. They had their own they had, as well. Then the counselor now said, who among you here still wants the other person's as, partner? Mm-hmm. The other person's partner. Mm-hmm. And nobody raised up their hand. Mm-hmm. Hey, I like that story. You, that your own, mm-hmm. me, my own, Chibi, it doesn't have to make pancake, mm-hmm. Abby. Mm-hmm. But you always tell me he loves me. Mm-hmm. I, I will stick, keep it. I will keep mm-hmm. him. <laughs> I will keep him. Yeah. So comparing your partner. wife, your comparing your husband to another mm-hmm. person, if you know what is happening now in that person's marriage, mm. the real is because it's that part that interests yeah, you. So yeah. you feel like, ah, oh, your husband is already a bad person and because he does not you choose. If you know what mm. the wife of that person is facing, you'll be like, eh, mm. let me hold my husband. Mm. You get mm. if you know that wife that looks like she's you know, she's so beautiful, she, she has mm. everything, mm. she's always making her hair, everyone mm. won't be. <laughs> if you know the bad habits that she has mm. too in the house, mm. you'll be like what mm. because the thing is they don't write bad habit on the forehead yeah, yeah. and it's that part that interests you mm-hmm. that you are only looking for what to the other focus mm-hmm. on if yeah. you know other details mm-hmm. you will not so comparison is a stealer of joy mm. number one mm. and that one everybody knows yeah. so it makes you feel that you know your partner like something you, missing you get makes you feel that there's something missing your partner be like ha my god only if, if there's something you want about your wife mm. pray to god about it mm. that is not compare See, don't yeah. compare anybody yeah. you that you are comparing if they list out your own step i'm gonna buy extra mm. so everybody should calm down yeah. and everybody should be patient for another person so don't compare don't compare mm. nobody is perfect yeah. Yeah. but please don't you ever not in the presence of your wife and not, not in the absence as well please don't compare thank you so moro has talked about she has talked about like expectations in marriage. She has said that oh, the fact that you're not going to bed together doesn't mean that this person doesn't love you. The fact that they can't call you all the time, you know, the fact that you're not having sex every day does not mean that you have a bad marriage, right? Just managing expectations, reality versus you know versus movies. Yes, do you understand? Yeah. So finally, I just wanted to touch a bit on you know people that say that oh they don't want to marry pastors. I'm not saying that like they are wrong for saying that. Who have different experiences growing up so i just want to i mean she's a pastor's wife in this generation i just want to touch a bit on that how if you like someone saying they don't want to marry a pastor can you address those fears and so, encourage um, them 
I think the fear came from you know seeing our parents how they lived their life mm. for church. Yeah. So most of the children are suffering from lack of attention because both parents are always in church. Daddy mm. automatically leaves the house in the morning, go to work, and from work to, goes church. to church. That is not if he's not a full time pastor. Mm-hmm. Mommy mm-hmm. leaves school and everything and goes to, goes church. to church. You yeah. leave your school. And school bus is dropping you in the church. Mm. So it's like they are like if this is how my parents are, then I don't, I don't want, want any of that for me. I don't want it gets as we grew older, my parents try to, you know, balance things mm-hmm. up and I okay, try to talk to us, make sure that academically they are involved yeah. and every other part of our yeah. life they are involved, yeah. you know. But you know, something it's, it's always getting to that you know, tail end already mm. and they're not trying to, you know, patch, patch things up and because one or they were just learning on the job. It gets yeah. So but generations of pastors that we have now they know how to balance things out because mm-hmm. your first ministry is your, your home. home. Yeah. Your home must not suffer because of your ministry and your ministry must not suffer because, because of, of your home. home. And it's a privilege if you are married to a pastor. It's a very, very, very great privilege. The way some people want to marry a governor, the way some people want to marry yeah, a president, yeah, they want to marry a king. Mm-hmm. It's the way right now some people really want to marry a pastor. I know that some people are like, hmm, for where? Mm. But yes, but it's, it's true. true. It's true. It's true. It's you true. see the honor that comes with being a pastor's wife. You see the dignity that comes with being a pastor's wife. You see the respect that comes with being a pastor's mm-hmm. wife. Mm-hmm. You see the packages that comes with being mm. a pastor's wife. I won't tell you. Ah, sometimes they even pack my room. <laughs> you know, sometimes, until now, Christmas is mm-hmm. coming. Ah, mm-hmm. I'm packed. In my house, then, in my father's house yeah. in Ondo, then, yeah. they will not come with. Talky, big big talky. Mm-hmm. Talky that they cannot even that cannot run again. They're not working like pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. <laughs> with amper, with rice. Yeah. They will not say, ah, daddy, I'm not supposed to carry. Ah. Ever want my daddy? Ever want to say that? And my daddy will be like, ah, go carry. God bless mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. When you are resuming school in January mm-hmm. like this, um, we do not even buy any provision at mm-hmm. all. We just go to any amper like this and pick whatever yes. we have yeah. because what. God has blessed these people mm. and people have seen the glory of God in their mm. lives, you know, when when people see glory of God in their life, yeah. of course, you know, they will come and bless you back yeah. and everything. So, those gifts, that's what we pick mm. when we are going to school, mm. you know. So, if you are a pastor's wife or if you are about to get married to a pastor, please do not fear not because mm. what God has called you. When people marry doctor, they don't become doctor. Mm. When people marry engineers, they don't become... Your name will never change from... Yeah, doctor, you get yeah. it's not changed to um doctor for lash mm-hmm. immediately. Mm-hmm. If you just say, ah, Yeah, well, doctor, you know, mm-hmm. or when you come to the office, they'll say, That's doctor's wife. Mm-hmm. You get, but when you marry a pastor, you're a pastor, Mrs. And when mm-hmm. people see you, they call you pastor already because God has called you into that space already, has called into it. So, I agree, you, you have grace. been called, yeah. it's a privilege to assist God's son. Mm-hmm. You get. For every Moses, there's an Aaron. So mm. you are your husband's Aaron. You are supposed to leave his, lift his right hand mm. in ministry. Mm. And while you are doing this, always pray that God give you wisdom, mm. patience, capacity, and strength. Yeah. Because honestly, the journey is not easy. And I know that that's honest, why it's a lot of yeah, people are away from it. But the thing is, what if I live it, wait, living your life every day is risky? Mm. Which one does not have its own desire? So it's just God, God that is saving us. So it's just yeah. better to be in God's way. Mm. And the thing is, when God gives you a vision, He makes provision available for mm. every vision He has given unto you. So when He's calling you to be a mm-hmm. pastor's wife, He has given you that wisdom. He has given you that capacity. Yeah. He's going to give you that strength. He's going to give you that patience. He's going to give you that peace. He's going to give you that joy. Everything you need to be a pastor's wife, God is going to give it to you. Mm. So, but now imagine that you're not a pastor's wife. And you have, and you do not have all of these mm. kids, and <laughs> you do not have all yeah. of it. So it's a very, very great privilege to partner to be, with God. Son. To pa- you get it's yeah. like it's like me and God. You are like mm. it's nice doing business mm. with you. Mm. God is saying, "This is my son. Yeah. Feed him. Mm. This is my son. Pray with him. Mm. This is my son. Help him. Mm. Mm. Partner with him. Rest Best partnership yeah. deal yeah. ever. God is and, pay, and God is paying you with all the riches of heaven and of earth. Mm. You get no money yeah. can you know yeah. Yeah. Buy that. That. Yes. Yeah. I I really like I mean that thing you mentioned about God so applying strength because when Tola and I got married, my husband, Pastor Tola and I got married, he was not a pastor. I didn't even see it in like, the next It was never years. in anybody's yeah. agenda. He just came out. Yeah. 
it just came and here so if you are like in that shoe and also i just wanted to i said this earlier in that video i told you people that were recording but did not record <laughs> but if like you a pastor is also asking you out don't just say because the person is a pastor yes, you marry them yes. character is very important are they god's will for you are you heading you know in the same direction that's also like really important so thank you so much guys please help me thank mrs aviola um ajibola twisted <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Moro, Thank you. for coming. Thank Please don't you. forget to like and to subscribe. I know some of you just came here because of Moro, so you never subscribe to the channel or you. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> Most shock now for your mama because of you. I'm very sure about that. Thank <laughs> Bye, you. Guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>